Guess I gotta go to the loser bullpen. You're up. Yeah, sorry, I'm busy too. The Sci-Fi Film Club meets tonight. Damn it! I forgot my cape at the dry cleaners. Now my wizard hat's just gonna look stupid. Oh. Hey, sorry I'm late. Things got a little crazy at my Star Wars club. Somebody said episode two is better than episode five. And before you know it, Chewbacca threw a chair at Django Fett. <laughs> yeah. I'll uh, put your toy with your cloak. <laughs> Don't mock the force. Find something that's extremely boring and pay attention to it. Hey, Andy, what are you doing tonight? Nothing, why? Why don't you take Ryan out for a drink? Tell him all about your Star Trek convention. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> don't you think I should work up to something like that? <laughs> Sink or swim. Oh, what a day it was, okay? We're at the VFW Hall in Decatur. My friend Jeffrey's dressed as a Romulan. Christmas is a time when you are supposed to think about other people and all you are doing is thinking about yourselves. I'm ashamed of you. But not me, right, Mom? <laughs> yes, Andy, you're my good boy. Yes! Booyah! <laughs> Although, we're going to have a long talk about that filthy magazine I found in your bathroom. It's anime, God. <laughs> oh, you, you, you put it in the kitchen? Yeah, why? Uh, no reason. I'm just thinking we got a lot of work to do, Jim, so why don't we hop to it? I mean, let's... Whoa, 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 wait, what's this? Master Yoda speaks highly of your abilities, but I will be the final judge. Look, an electronic talking golem head. We must have it. We must have it. Come on, keep it me outside. Why does it hurt, sir? Jim, what have you done to my house? Oh my god, my first person shooters are mixed with my multiplayer online games. Give me the bat. No! <laughs> Give me the bat. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Oh, Star Wars, huh? Yeah. First of all, you're a Jedi with a red lightsaber, which was only used by the dark side. Secondly, that's a Mace Windu tunic with Anakin's signature brown trousers. You're a fraud. These are not the candies you're looking for. You belong. <laughs> To your wife. <laughs> Why are you dressed like a pilgrim? Have you been in a cave? I'm Harry Potter. And the latest installment hits bookstores tonight. Would you care to join us? Well, I'm afraid I can't. You see, I've had sex with a woman. Muggle. What? What did you call me? Yeah. If you don't know, you are one. Please don't turn this into a war. Well, talk to your brother here. He's the one being unreasonable. I'll throw in a free Klingon burial shroud if you buy it. Impress the ladies. It's mine! Well, this isn't so bad. He works with kids. He's a loser. A big loser. And that's coming from a guy who's buried in a Harry Potter costume. <laughs> you know, Andy, nothing personal. But I would never forgive myself if I allowed Kyle to grow up to be you. That's outrageous. How could, how could you say something like that to me? Oh, no, it's okay. I said nothing personal. Well, it felt personal. Well, I don't mean you. I mean, you know, people like you. 
Your kind. I swear to God, Jim, do not do it. Do not drop the end bomb. Nerd! God, I don't believe you. Is that still where we are in this country? Hello, I'm George Takei. Welcome to Intergalactic Positivity Mind Training. You're a brave, strong man who will soon have lots and lots of girlfriends or boyfriends. Like the galaxy loves you just the way you are. Tomorrow you will awake refreshed, not needing a donut for breakfast, because you can boldly go wherever you want. <laughs> you hear that, Jim? <laughs> Okay, the preferred nomenclature is science fiction American. How would you say that in Klingon? Nogbot Karlam. Nerd! Do your nerd thing tomorrow. I did not spend three weeks hand sewing this costume to be called a nerd. Good day, sir. Andy! I said good day! <laughs> my son catching it from you you can't catch nerd jim oh you can say it now. oh yeah because when we say it to each other it's a term of endearment uh, it's confusing to the rest of us andy you know guys with wives and girlfriends oh look a hello kitty date book don't you think it's cute no i think it's stupid what are you saying that you're the biggest nerd on the planet me? You're the one that's obsessed with Star Wars. Which is the coolest movie ever. You keep a toy lightsaber under your car seat. That is for protection. <laughs> All right, Mama's boy, why don't you go eat another dozen donuts and go play with your Star Wars dolls? <laughs> See? Rolls right off the old back. Oh, <laughs> come on, Andy. What? What? No, wait, wait. No, no, You're it's... supposed to insult here where we're fighting and, and i'm winning look I, I, I should have never said those things to you i should have never called you a nerd andy <gasps> uh no bird bird he called me a bird no i didn't i called him a nerd and you have a problem with that <laughs> look princess leia is checking you out not surprising the force is strong in me hey princess leia you wanna, you wanna play with his lightsaber? Knock it off, you dork! Sorry, you have failed me for the last time. No, no, Who is your master now? Sorry. I love you too. You do? Yeah. I mean, it's a little strange that you keep a lightsaber in your car, but, you know. I'll get over it. Yeah, it, it's for protection. I get it. I, I had a friend from my sci-fi film club, went online, became an ordained starship chaplain. It took him like five minutes. Is that crazy? We need legal. Oh, guys, it's perfectly legal. No, he married a Klingon to a Romulan. Now. A lot of people are against mixed marriages, but I say that's what the Federation's all about. Shut up. Okay, you want to go? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a hike, would you? I'm getting the eye from that little space hottie over there. Are you telling me girls like that go after nerds like you? Jim, I get more tail than a tribble during mating season. <laughs> Oh, no, on the computer again. That is why you never meet any women. Kind of in the middle of something here, Mom. I just met a girl who is a finalist for Extreme Makeover. Now, her name is Denise. Now, come on, just go talk to her. You know, you want her to like you before she gets pretty and all puffed up with self-esteem. Come on. Here, stay out of my favorites. 